Hello everyone, since the tomb, welcome to another mod for you, this time on Project Test. A mod that simply adds in a bunch of tools, bows, swords, uh, tool rods, blocks, gears, and stuff like that. As well as a bunch of different resources. So, yeah, pretty much I guess, like your sort of tool mods, you others that add your different components, uh, different ores and blocks and gears and other things for different mods depending on what you're wanting to use them for so yeah uh, we'll go through each of the different materials and see what they're capable of most of it's still just um kind of what it is where it's like uh you know the ores are still you know pick enabled um they're not um higher than a wooden pick basically so you can mine all of these i assume with pretty much a wooden pick no problem uh, and obviously the point of this mod is to just have different uh, different components to allow for building, uh, sorry, making tools, yes, as well as using the different resources or adding them to the game and having the other components for, you know, when you're using them in a machine or something like that, so yeah, because um, obviously you typically use gears and rods and things like that and dusts and tech mods, so yeah, but there's nothing like that at the moment, just this one and that for sort of demonstrating or testing out what's possible. But yeah, anyways, um, what do I want to do? I think I'll just move my other stuff inside, because I'll be taking up quite a bit of space. So I'll just move all my stuff in this chest, which I'm not even using at the moment, so that's fine. That's all the Let's Play stuff, so that's fine. So we'll move that out, so we'll move all this stuff in, just for testing purposes. For things like efficiency, as well as just... Uh, durability information and so on, so see how that goes, uh, and so I'm not going to compare it to Terran expansion, but you can if you want to, I guess, to see what the stat differences are. I've already done that when I added the mod to the Let's Play pack a while ago, so I have a general idea, but some of these have not accessed like the nickel stuff, so yeah. Uh, so we'll just go and get some ores, we'll get uh, particularly coal here, we'll just move the picks in and out of our inventory, and I'll set up some things like dirt as well, as you always need to test dirt in some form for the shovel, let's put a long line of these, and we'll get the others soon, so let's see, we want... Uh, iron... Uh, what's that? It doesn't drop too much. Um, yeah, I mean, war is probably not a problem, but... That deep slate there, didn't mean to do that, but oh well. And then we'll just go diamond next. I, or emerald, actually. Not sure why not. And I don't think that, um... What's it? I don't think that they're all ancient debris compatible, I don't think, so we'll just break and place these if we need to. Anyways, we'll get to these tools though, so we got that which we know we'll obviously do that. We know that'll do iron and that, and that's not going to do ancient debris, so that's got 750, obviously made typically, uh, since it's got, you know, copper, since we have copper in the game, unlike Terran um, expansion, where in 116 it didn't, but in 117 it does, because it doesn't need to, because the game already adds it, so that's fine. Oop. Um, we've got tin next, which has 100 durability, again, made how you'd expect. Uh, I have noticed that, um, Terran Expansion and Project Test are not, uh, or Dictionary compatible, or whatever the equivalent is for Fabric or something, so yeah. Uh, there is the point where, um, some tools, like tin, I've also come across this with silver, but I haven't made tin tools before in the Let's Play world, so I didn't know it actually ran this fast. But yeah, there's sort of like an instant mine sort of effect to them. Or they just break things immediately. Uh, it can't break emerald, of course, so it is less than iron in compatibility there. But uh, keep that in mind that some of them will have it where they insta mine in a way, which I assume is not intended design, and will be tweaked later. But yeah, uh, we'll move on to nickel, which is more suitable, and has 400. And I assume is also able to mine iron and emeralds, and cannot ancient debris because it's not diamond level. So that's that. Uh, next we have Platinum, which I assume, yep, so it has the same sort of fast speed there. And it has 
10,000 durability and 104 attack damage. It's insane. Um, we got Silver next, which I already know has that fast speed somewhat. Not 10 levels of insanity. For, or, you know, for, I guess, incredibility, whichever word goes in that for saying that how great it is. Um, so that has 300 here. And again, uses its project test version of ingots. Um, we have lead, which also seems to mine things incredibly fast. Again, it's an iron equivalent like tool, and has 100 durability, so very low. Um, what do we have next? Bronze, which is obviously more normal, and has 850. And with bronze, it's very interesting because you need technically the mixture, which is for one. But you also need copper dust and tin to get four here in older versions because I was using this before and I'll probably show it in my let's play and that when I release it however soon from now um, which I think it was in the latest the last one as I'm making this which is currently I don't need to show this but I'll show it just for the sake of relevance um, is currently episode six as I'm making of this video um, you had a alloy mixer thing which I don't think is here now uh, we'll go alloy... Yeah, it's not available here, but you would have had that in the past, and it had no, um, actual recipe for that item. That's now been removed, so it makes it much easier to go about these. You do have to get the, uh, actual ingot via the mixture, so there's no block or alloy item thing that allows you to do it for bronze now, so you just have to get, uh, any amount of copper dust and such, which... Technically, I don't know how you would go about that. Um, how do you get dust? An iron hammer. There we go. Yeah. So 64 hammers from just that, which you would usually just get the one, and then it would have durability, but I assume they don't do that here. That's interesting. Um, so just each ingot. Excuse me. To get dust. Um, let's go copper. Let's take a testing and see if it just consumes it immediately. I assume it does. Yes, it does. So that's why this is 64. So there's no durability for them yet. So keep that in mind. That may change, but at the moment, that's the case. So yeah. So you can't use, like, the um, Terran Expansion Crusher to do things like that, I'm pretty sure. Because, then again, they're not compatible. Um, so we go to Pickaxe here just to see what else we've got. Um, what else do we have? That's Terran Expansion's ones. We need to sort through all that. So we've got Copper Tin, Bronze, Lead, Silver, Platinum, Nickel, Invar I hadn't done yet, which is another alloy, Electrum I hadn't done yet. Constantin, steel, and aluminium. So, what do we got here? Invar, which is also normal, which has 600. And I assume this is able to mine emeralds, so we can skip the iron. Yep, so it's a iron equivalent, as per usual in other mods. Uh, Invar, obviously, is an alloy. You make the mixture with two iron dust and some nickel, and you get three there. You've got next Electrum, which is obviously your copper and... Um, sorry, I mean, uh, gold and silver, I know what I meant. Um, that has 200 durability, you get the two dusts, you make the mixture and you get two out of it, and then you smelt it, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we've got Constantin, which is nickel and gold. If I remember from other mods that do that. Uh, there we go, so Constantin, you get two, one nickel, one copper. Obviously you need nickel for both those alloys, so yeah. And again, this is an iron equivalent, so it's also not able... Okay, we'll find out. Is it able to actually break ancient debris? Interesting, okay. So it's actually quite strong. Okay, 850 there. Um, I'm going to check with platinum again. See if that was also... Yes, it was. Yeah, I thought as much it would be up that high. Uh, and then finally we've got steel and aluminium, which I know these aren't. Okay, we'll see, because yeah, that's a slightly faster breaking speed than usual. My guess is it's not going to be able to. It can, okay, so it is that tough. Uh, we'll see what the mining speed is on just the other ores, just because why not. For the sake of testing, there we go. Uh, has 1000 durability, as well as the other various stats there. Uh, and then you've got coal dust and iron dust, or carbon dust, sorry, which is obviously coal or charcoal. Um... Steel is just steel dust or high carbon iron mix, which steel dust does nothing but the high carbon one does. I don't know if that's just the leftover. Could be. 
um, or it's something else they were planning, like a secondary type of steel thing, I'm not sure. And then we'll finally got aluminium, which I assume is fairly weak, maybe it's a stone equivalent, or something? Yeah, I'm not expecting it to do iron levels of stuff at the moment, unless it is just that slow. See if it can break it, and no it for emerald, so yeah, so aluminium, like so, is just your bauxite material. So aluminium does store bauxite. Um, so bauxite ore there. Um, other than that, aluminium is just from the ingots, so that's just left over. So you'll be looking for bauxite ore there. Um, now that that's out of the way, we'll get to the shovels. So let's do copper first. Obviously these will all have similar stats, so there's not really much point in covering those parts. So we'll go bronze next. We'll go tin next. Uh, let's see, platinum, nickel, we'll have to get to the others, of course. Place that down again. Silver, also very quick. And nickel, again. Pretty similar to its pick counterpart. And then we'll need, what was it, shovel, uh, aluminium, we'll want steel, constant, and electrum, invar, nickel, we've already done, and we've done all that. So, get it also the platinum one? Yes. Okay, so, constantin. Let's do it again. Yep. There we go. Let's get about three blocks or so each, just to show. Or, I guess, two in the case of aluminium. Don't need these snowballs. Pick another one. There we go. So, we've got that out of the way. Uh, hoes are pretty much, I guess, what to expect. They, you know, don't have any special abilities to them. So, we'll just get rid of those. We don't really need to show them off. They are just the typical, but with, obviously, the durability there. Um, we also got to show the lead shovel and then bar, apparently, actually. Whoops. Uh, that was my fault. Um, here we go. Do it. Let's see, lead, it's really quick, uh, we'll go again, Invar, and Electrum, there we go, so fairly quick. And then we'll move obviously to the axes and the swords, but yeah, so we'll just get those over to this side. Um, then we just need to get the other ones as well, so what do we got? Um, yeah, cool, so we we're gonna just have the others there. So let's see, Constantin we're gonna want, Aluminium we're gonna want, Electrum we're gonna want, uh, Invar we're gonna want, and then Platinum's there. Okay, cool. So let's go to a tree, and just harvest it as much as we can. The same logs over and over, we can see the snap differences. Again, Silver and Tin are gonna be quite, um, quick. So the others are going to be a bit more normal, or a bit slower. Nope, I didn't need to do that. Copper. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And then we'll move on to the bows, because obviously they're quite uh, unique to the mod, I guess, in this case, for the two tools and armor and such type mods. Um, so we got that for Invar. I didn't mean to do that, just didn't get it in time. So Electrum, also quite quick. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Aluminium. Quite reasonable, probably more stone speed I assume. Oh, again, I keep doing that. Lead, also quite quick. And finally, Constantin. 